Milton Choi found out his punishment today for bribing Maui County and state lawmakers in exchange for contracts. The judge sentenced Choi to three years and five months in federal prison. He had been facing up to 10 years in prison. But the judge said without Choi's cooperation with the investigation, corrupt officials would not have been caught. He's expected to surrender to a prison on the West Coast in October. Choi was the owner and manager of H2O Process Systems. 41 months, there's statutory good time, there's all kinds of things in there, so, you know, one day is too much for me. My job is to get him home, and uh, when you look at the totality of everyone that went in so far, uh, the sentence is fair, and uh, uh, he'll be home soon. Choi's agreed to cooperate with the government moving forward. Among those he bribed, former Maui County Environmental Management Director Stuart Stant, former wastewater employee Wilfred Savea, and former state lawmakers Ty Cullen and Kalani English. New video tonight of a police investigation that happened earlier this evening in Waikiki. Launiu Street was closed between Alawai Boulevard and Kuhio Avenue because of this. You can see officers at the apartment building with a suspect walking out with his hands up and being arrested. No word yet from police on what led up to this incident. Meanwhile, over in Kailua, police say a barricade incident this morning started because of a man who was armed with a sword. It happened at a home on Kihapai Street. So at around 9 o'clock this morning, police got a report of an argument between a 32-year-old man and a relative in her 50s. Police say the man was damaging property inside the house. The male then exited the home and approached the officers with a sword that, that, that was in its sheath. He refused the officer's orders to put down the sword, held it in an offensive manner, and instead went back into the home. Police say the man eventually surrendered peacefully about four and a half hours later. Officers took him to the hospital for a mental evaluation. He faces charges including terroristic threatening and criminal property damage.